Hi, everybody. I'm Betty with Stuart Title, and I'm super excited to share with you our latest episode. Today, we have our partners with us, LD Design Company. Um, they are our staging partners. They, they teach CE classes with us um, for realtors, and they have some really, really valuable and helpful information. If you're a realtor or you're um, uh, thinking about selling your home, then you definitely want to watch this full episode. So first, I'd like to introduce my guests. So um, can you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves, share a little bit about your background, and, um, and, and then we'll get into the question section. Sure, thanks for having us, Betty. Um, we are Danielle and Lindley with LD Design Co. And we are a staging and redesign company located in the North Texas area. We serve all of DFW. Um, and we offer a full range of services from staging, if you're ready to um, list your home, um, we have tips and tricks getting you ready to sell, as well as redesign services. So really just loving the home that you live in, restyling your home, talking about furniture arrangement, paint colors. Um, we are both ASP staging professionals. So we both went through the accredited staging professional training um, man, about two and a half years ago. So we've been working and partnering with Stuart Title for about two years. Um, our background is not staging. Our background is um, speech pathology and education, but um, we love people. We love working with people. We love hearing their story, and we really have um, a knack and a passion for just transforming spaces um, into spaces that you love. We also have a third member of our team, Rainy Graham, who joined us a few months ago, and she is our lead designer. She's also a trained ASP stager, so when you use us with LD Design Co., you're always getting a trained ASP stager. Awesome. That is awesome. Um, okay, so so Lindley, can you help us understand why staging? What is so important about staging? People are hearing that a lot lately, staging, staging, staging. And so I think for some people, they may not really understand what it is and how it's beneficial. Can you share a little bit about that? Yes. So um, staging is preparing your home um, to be listed. And so there's actually an art and a science when it comes to staging. Um, it is preparing the home for the unknown buyer. So the goal of staging is to decrease the emotional impact on the home that the buyers have there so that the potential owners um, can envision themselves living in the home. So um, we have a few stats that we always love to share and that's one in 10 people can actually visualize the potential of a space um, so if the home is not staged, whether it's occupied or vacant, um, only one in 10 of those, buy of those potential buyers that come in for showings can really visualize the potential of what that space could be um, if it's not effectively staged. And also, um, we also like to share that um, first impressions are made within the first one to 10 seconds mm -hmm. that a potential buyer enters the home. So really being able to capture their attention quickly and to make a really good first impression through, um, there's, gosh, there's just so many strategies that we have for staging, but through furniture arrangement, through appropriate colors, um, uh, the accessories and the decor being placed correctly, things mm -hmm. like that, it really makes a huge impact. Yeah, and, and that also, is, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just going to say, we also like to remind people, so studies actually show that um, the difference between non-staged homes and then an ASP staged home is a difference of 65 days, average 65 days on the market nationwide. So when you're trying to decide stage or not to stage, you know, do I make these changes before I list or do I stay on the market for a while? We always encourage, encourage sellers and realtors to use our services up front because you're looking at a difference of 65 days off market. Yeah, so really for people that need to sell in a hurry or really have already purchased another house or a moving relocating, there are so many reasons why sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, getting on the market, they're needing to close quickly. Well, that is a huge difference. That's a difference of two more mortgage payments. That's a difference of being delayed. If you bought another house already, double mortgage payments for two months. There's a lot of, yes. a lot of really uh, great benefits to getting it done beforehand and yes. shortening that time frame. You're, you're exactly right. And that's why we talk about staging being an investment as well. You know, putting that money in upfront, we have a wide range of services, whether that's $150 for a consultation or a few thousand for a full vacant stage, you're putting that money in upfront, but then you're selling for more and you're off the market. So you're not making those payments monthly. 
Yeah, I, I totally agree. And, and to just reference a point that Lin Lee made, um, when you think about visiting a, a, a builder, a, a model, new home sales, that's why there is a model. That's why it's furnished. That's why they have, so that you can go in. They don't show you an empty house. They show you the model. And that's exactly why it's to, so that you can visual, visualize yourself in the space so that you can see furniture arrangement, decor, colors, finishes. It's really for you to be able to, you're totally right. You have this then emotional kind of response of, oh, I want this house because it's so beautiful. I want to live here. So yeah, I totally get that. Um, okay. So one of my questions is um, for a realtor, let's talk about realtors for one second. Um, sometimes realtors are informed and kind of educated in this area and why it's so important. So you all already have a great customer base of realtors that already work with you, but for realtors that aren't currently working with stagers or that don't really have a, a maybe an eye for design or that kind of thing, what kind of advice would you share with them? So something that we refer to a lot, and it's just a good starting point, whether you are, um, you know, going to that listing meeting and you're giving staging advice, or maybe you're coming up with a staging plan, we talk about the four C's of staging, and it's pretty detailed. We, we go through all the information um, in our class, and we go through some of that on our blog, but we talk about um, being clutter-free, being clear, being creative, and communication. So some of those points are starting with decluttering. We say if you declutter, you are 60% of the way there. So um, some of our tips for decluttering are taking everything off of a counter. Sometimes when we think of decluttering, we take off an item here, an item there. Go ahead and remove everything and then add back on those things that are functional, whether it's for a decor purpose or to show functionality of the home. Um, when we talk about clear, uh, we like to remind people to choose one clear purpose for the room. Um, so, you know, that goes for those flex spaces and things like that. You want to have a clear purpose. But we also are looking at other general tips. Um, we're making sure that the house is nice and bright. We want to brighten things up as much as we can. That goes for paint color, natural lighting. There's also accessories. There's textiles like rugs and art you can bring in to make sure that you're showcasing the home as bright as possible. Um, and as far as staging, we also talk a lot about furniture arrangement. So um, staging really controls the narrative of what you want that home to say. So just think about when you go into those homes, what do I want to communicate? Your starting point doesn't have to be your ending point. So just by rearranging furniture, rearranging things, you can um, communicate a nice, bright, open floor plan um, or an updated home. You don't have to fix every um, cosmetic thing in the home if the homeowner is not able to do that. We're definitely going to give you tips on that of how to be in the best place possible. But um, just updating, you know, hardware, um, even just the things that we get used to in our home, the light bulbs and the doormats and things like that um, to give you that fresh, updated look. Awesome. Add, add on to that. Oh, there's so much we could go into <laughs> just that one question. That's kind of like the meat of our entire, you know, hour long class. So um, I think Danielle kind of hit most of most of the main points there without rambling for another 30 minutes <laughs> yeah. on what all you could do. <laughs> Well, and since we're on the topic, um, something very cool that we can share with everybody, if you are a realtor, um, and of course you need CE credits, we have a class coming up on June 25th. We will include the registration link with this video. So if you wanna join us and, and hear their entire presentation, their full class and get a one hour CE credit, then that would be a great opportunity to do that. Um, we will also include their website so that you can go on and view some before and afters. Honestly, it's so hard to explain what a difference could look like, but when you see the images, it's night and day. It's really amazing. So yeah, that's absolutely, right. absolutely right. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, staging is just so visual. So it's so fun to talk about, but it's so much more fun to see the before and afters and all that good stuff. So thanks, buddy. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we'll include that information. So um, for my very final, final question, Lindley, I'm going to ask you to answer this one. So if you're a realtor and you have a listing on the market and it's sitting there um, and, you know, perhaps you're wondering what's going on, why isn't it moving? Um, in your experience, what's often the issue and how can it be? What are tips for that? Yeah, so as far as staging goes, um, there's, again, so many different things that could play into that. Um, a lot of times it is, 
like Danielle mentioned, maybe the fact that the home isn't showing um, bright and open. And so there are just so many strategies that we can use um, in order to, to kind of help with that. Um, so that would be one reason that maybe we see a lot of times that the home is just kind of sitting there. Um, another one is we have a, a consultation service where we come in and we will, for your individual home or your individual listing, we will come in and we will basically walk through the home and give you a list of everything we can think of or that we see that can help get your home staged effectively. Um, and so to kind of answer your question, but not answer your question, is that we don't know until we see that home. But once we get in there and we're able to see it, we every single time certainly have suggestions on um, things that we are trained to see and trained to um, make make changes in in order to get the home effectively staged. So that could be um, getting some, some new things in the home to give it that updated look. It could just be as simple as furniture rearranging so that the home feels bigger, it feels larger, um, it feels more functional. Um, as Danielle mentioned, it could be decluttering. There's so many things that could go into that, but just that consultation and that report that we have to offer answers all of those questions for you and for that individual listing. Yeah, and, and actually that's a really good point for everybody to understand is that um, it's not just about like when we're talking about a model for like a brand new home, it's not just about going in and putting all brand new stuff in. For people that are already living in their homes and they're getting ready to sell, you can really go in and make it look really different with this, this, the stuff that they have. It doesn't yes. have to be completely vacant. No, and that really is our goal for um, our occupied stages is use as much of the homeowner's things as we possibly can. Um, because one, that's what the homeowners, that's what the homeowners want. They don't want to have to move all their stuff out if they don't have to while it's listed. But two, it keeps the cost down for that client um, for their investment in staging where we can really use their things. Um, and three, their stuff is already there for the most part. The things that their home are probably already all cohesive together throughout the home. And so just by kind of replace, not replacing, but moving them around and rearranging them and helping them understand where their art needs to be hung and how their furniture needs to be placed and things like that um, is really our, our main goal. Um, there's always times where we suggest maybe, maybe bringing some new inventory in if needed, but we do always try to address that first and foremost is using the homeowner's things that they already have there. Awesome. So I really think that there's a lot of, uh, there's a wide variety of services that you can offer, whether it's a vacant stage, whether it's occupied, whether it's already on the market and they're needing assistance, you can do that too, even after it's listed. Preferably, of course, it's really helpful to do it beforehand, but you can still do it once it's on. Um, so I, think, I think that's awesome. I think that's really helpful. I myself am a huge fan of not only LD Design Co, but also just the business of staging in general, it's so, so, so important. Um, it can make, for any realtor, it can make their jobs a lot easier. And for any homeowner, it can make their job a lot easier, a lot less stress um, when they know that it's that their home is being presented um, in a way that will appear uh, appeal to the masses. Um, yeah. Okay, so final thoughts, final tips. Um, before we wrap up the uh, episode, I want to give each of you just a, just if you have just one nugget of information in your mind that you would share uh, with a home, with a current homeowner that's thinking about selling, what is your one nugget, uh, what a tip that you would share? So um, I guess one thing that we often don't think about with staging, but it goes a long way. And it's one of our staging tips and tricks, um, adding functionality to your spaces. So um, sometimes the, the smaller areas go unnoticed. So we don't think about staging like a laundry room or a powder bath or those areas we think just don't matter. The truth is when our buyers come in, a lot of people are looking virtually right now, but even in person, those areas do matter. So just adding functionality to your spaces and using what you already have, like we talked about. Um, for example, in a laundry room, we may put, no matter the size, we may do it, we love trays. We love trays. So um, doing a tray and then adding a jar of clothespins and a candle and a plant. Um, or in a powdered bath, we may do another tray. Um, but then also doing a jar of soaps and 
a plant and like a fun little jar of Q-tips. Um, it adds functionality to those spaces and it shows that you love your home. It shows that you use your home and you love those spaces. Um, but then it's also a fun little pop that not all homes have on the market. So when buyers are walking through or looking online, it just gives them a fun, memorable thing. Um, and like I said, you can use what you have. Glass jars are our favorite go-to. Just throw items that you have in there that are functional to that space. Uh, I think maybe my tip that I would like to share is that um, a lot of people, when they think about beginning to stage their home, they think about it maybe, oh, I've already spoken to my realtor. We already have photos scheduled for next week. I need to start getting my home in order. Um, the earlier you can begin staging, the better, because you have to remember that although we've talked a lot about adding decor um, and kind of those little fun items, staging also encompasses things like repainting, um, maybe repairing some things, um, maybe adding some fresh um, mulch or, or cleaning up your landscaping, things like that. Um, the projects could take more than just one week. Um, and so if you decide to begin the staging process three days before your MLS photos or just the week before, you might realize you have a lot to do. Um, and although it's daunting, it's worth it because it is that investment in staging. Um, it's, it's worth the investment to do it right and to do it effectively. So start thinking about staging, whether you're using stagers or whether you're doing it on your own, start thinking about what does my home need to be prepared, um, to be listed? What do, what do we need to do? Start thinking about that maybe a month before you're going to list it just so that you can do it effectively. And just know the list that you come up with that you know that your home needs, a third party is going to come in and add to that list because we just get so used to the way that we live. So the, it's nice to have a third party. It's nice to have another eye to come in as that buyer, as that um, unbiased person to come in and say, hey, I also noticed this, this, and this. But a buyer will notice that as homeowners, we often just get used to. Yeah. I totally, totally agree. You need a fresh pair of eyes to come into the house and to actually, like for y'all, of course, that is your expertise. Let you come into the house and walk around and see what can I do with the space that will make it the best that people will fall in love with and want the house fast. So I totally agree. I, I absolutely think when you live in a home, you see it totally differently than a brand new prospective buyer may see it. So that is important. Okay, awesome. Thank you all so much. We've had such really great information. This is fun stuff to talk about. So um, I hope everybody enjoys the episode. And again, um, the registration link for the class that's coming up on June 25th, that registration link will be included with the video as well as their website. Um, so please go to their website, check it out, check out their before and afters. You can learn more about them. And then of course, I'm Betty LeMay with Stuart Title. And as soon as your house is under contract, be sure to bring it to Stewart Title and we will take care of it and get you to the closing table. Thank you all so much and we will see you soon on the next episode.